So it may not be the most exciting thing to fix up in the house. Oh, come on. Yes, no, it, uh, no, you're going to love this. Doors and doorknobs. Yeah. Yep. Oh, man. Very DIY exciting. Friday. Janet, sometimes you got to do it, right? Yes. Jan Hagerman for the Twin Cities Habitat for Humanity Restore has some advice and also some terrible jokes on replacing doors. <laughs> knock, knock, Jan. We're talking doors. <laughs> All right. No, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> interrupting cow. Uh, interrupting cow. No, you're too, you're too slow. All right. Let's let's hope the DIY is better than the comedy in this segment, Jan. Oh, I love that jokes. Um, good morning. Happy Friday. Good right. morning. What are we doing with doors today? Well, I am going to help you figure out if you, so we've been doing a lot of updating during COVID. Maybe now you've done all the painting, all the purging. How about some new doors? But when you're going out to buy a new door, whether it be from us or from one of the big box stores or your local lumber yard, how do you buy a door? So I'm gonna ask both of you, do you know what the difference is between a right-hand swing door and a left-hand swing door? I, I didn't until you, until you mentioned it. I get, I'm trying to think. I, right, in you're our, thinking yeah, through the house. In your house, left hands, is it your hand that you use generally, or what is it? It can be, but some people will open the door this way, or some yeah. people will so that. Yeah. There's a lot of different ways to explain it, but here is the easiest way I have found. I have pulled everybody that works for Habitat in the last two weeks to get the best explanation. Here's my door. I can see the hinges, they're on this side. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna put my back to the door. Hinges are on my right. It is a right hand swing door. Okay. Hinges, shoulder, that's all you need to know. Um, so you need to know which way your door is gonna open because you certainly don't want the door that is in the bathroom to swing into the toilet. You wanna have it swing right. the other way or out. Um, couple other things you wanna know about when you're buying a door. The size of the door itself, typically a standard door is 80 inches tall. They'll be 24, 28, 32 inches wide, four inch increments. Um, the other thing you wanna know, which most people don't think about is your walls. How thick are your walls? Um, some walls are made with two by fours, some are made with two by sixes. That is gonna determine the, the depth or the width of your frame. Makes so, sense. Yeah. Basically, those three things are what you want to know. And then you got to decide, do you want a hollow core door or a solid core door? A lot of houses uh, built in the, between the 80s and oh, 2000s have hollow core doors. You want to upgrade a little bit? Go to a solid core door. If you don't know the difference between a hollow core and a solid core, I'll show you. <laughs> this is a hollow core door. You can lift it easily. <laughs> Or Jan's just really strong. Yeah. That's right. we can't roll that out. Talk about doorknobs, Jan. Doorknobs. Uh, standard doorknob, used for years. Lever doorknob, newer style. If you're upgrading, go with a lever. For kids, it's easier to get them open. So maybe you don't want lever doorknobs. <laughs> but if, for someone who's older or has a disability, the lever doorknob works really, really well. Um, and doorknobs are standard. You just need to know, does it need to lock? Does it need a key? Is it just for like a closet? It doesn't need to lock. You have a fancier door with the big handle, that kind of thing. Uh, so yeah, doors, doorknobs, super easy. We have them, um, but our selection is always donated. So we don't know what we have, and we might not have six matching ones for your house. Right. But at least you've got the information now. And before we let you go, tell us a little bit about your shirt. Uh, Women's Build Week. It's usually in March. Uh, women from all over the city and all across the country go to their local habitats and build houses. Women that have construction experience or are just learning to use a hammer. This year, sadly, it is virtual. We've partnered with Lowe's. Um, it is the 8th to the 15th. Um, it's completely virtual. It's a great way for uh, empowering women. Uh, if you go to our website, you will find out a lot more about it. Really good. Jan, good work. Thank yes. you.